I took this picture in 2018 while at the Sturgis rally with a few hundred thousand of my friends. Hi, I'm Chuck Farrell and I make videos of my travels by motorcycle. This video, however, will be a little bit different. I'm in Sturgis in early March of 2020. Let's go take a look around. In 1879, the 7th Cavalry under the command of Colonel Samuel D. Sturgis established a camp near Bear Butte. All the vendors flocked to the camp to relieve the soldiers of their military pay by any means possible. This was called scooping and Sturgis had its start being called Scoop Town. Here is the Knuckle, one of the largest bars in town, and one of the few that stays open all year. This is the Harley Davidson Pavilion, the site of lots of music and events during the rally. Now even the Eagle is quiet. Let's take a quick walk down Main Street. Can you believe this is the home of one of the largest motorcycle rallies in the world? The town moved when Fort Meade was built in 1880 and renamed Sturgis after the commander of the 7th Cavalry. The city of Sturgis was known as a wild place in those early days, but it turned into the quiet city of 6,000 it is today. For nine months of the year, the town is as you see it, quiet and peaceful. But every summer, especially for 10 days in August, the city seems to revert to the early days. Instead of soldiers, now it's bikers, but the vendors flock in and the scooping goes on. At the end of this street is what I really came to see. At last, something about bikes, the Sturgis Motorcycle Museum. So let's go inside and have a look around. Like lots of bikers, I have been to Sturgis many times, but I've never gone in here. This museum is full of memorabilia about Sturgis and the history of the rally. There are many old or rare bikes also on display here. What a great place to spend some time while in Sturgis. It's well worth the visit. Of course, no visit to Sturgis would be complete without a beer and a sandwich at the Loud American. Well, I hope you enjoyed the walk in the museum. 